He's boastful, he's brash. Whatever the style, he's always ever fun loving, wild ride having, Mr. Toad. I say, you fellows, this is the only way to travel. And he's the very subject of today's art lesson. So first give him, start off with a little line at the top. That would be more of a horizontal line, a little dash, right there. After that, we're going to give him a letter C that stands on an angle. Nice and round. There we go. Now on the other side, we're going to do the same thing, but going the opposite direction. After that, if you know how to make a semicolon, this one's going to be kind of stretched out because it's going to go start here and go down at an angle and then end with the semicolon. Same thing on this side but facing the opposite direction. Down to the right and with a semicolon. The next thing you're going to do are two lines but they're going to start here and go down to the right. The next one, same thing on the opposite side, but facing the opposite direction. This one will go down the left, just like that. After that, you're going to make a hill. Starting right here, it's going to cut through this, just on the bottom, and end up on the opposite side right here. It's going to touch that one too, so it's going to start here, crest to the top, start going down, and in there. Now the next thing you're going to do is make a letter C starting here, nice, to there. And the second one facing the opposite direction on this one, down, kind of like a crescent moon, to here. Now let's go ahead and make two eyes. Now those are just going to be two ovals, one here, they can even be teardrop shaped. And they don't even have to go all the way, they can just meet that hill. Same thing here. You give them a smile, but this type of smile is what you would see for the Ninja Turtles. It starts to go down. Instead of going all the way down and then be meeting back up here, it'll make a bit of a hill. It'll go down and curve up, kind of matching that hill, and then go back down to make the smile. Even give him two dimples. I probably want to have his mouth open. Let's give him a little letter U here to here. And let's go ahead and give him a bottom lip, which is another letter U, but it's a little smaller starting here to here. And he needs to breathe, so let's give him two nostrils. And those are going to be two water drops. But they're going to be sitting on their sides, which will mean the points will be facing left and right. Now we have his eyes, but they, he doesn't have any pupils. He kind of has that zombie look. So let's give him two pupils. One here and one there. And if you want to give him some reflection of light in his eyes, you can even give him a little circle here and a little circle there. Then darken those all around. Now our Mr. So can see. And I like to give him a little bit of personality by giving him two eyelids, which is a curved line right about here and another one right about here. Now let's go ahead and give him a tongue, which is basically the golden arches. And now we have Mr. Toad's face. So now Mr. Toad needs his clothes. Let's first start off with the collar. It's going to look like an M that got sat on, which would be like this. But the V for the M, where it dips down, it's going to start off here, start up, then go down a little further for the V, and then go back up, meet there, and now we have a collar. We're going to give him a little rectangle right here, a little flat rectangle to start off for his bow tie. Now if you know what a bow tie looks like, it's going to be somewhat of a triangle. It's going to start right here without a point. Here and give him a flat side here, then meet back there. Same thing for this side. Now Mr. Toad has his bow tie. Let's go ahead and close in this end with a letter V. Notice how it kind of curved it out a little bit there. That's going to be for his vest. We're going to go ahead and give him a body, but we're going to do it nice and light. And that's just going to be a letter U. It's going to be a medium-sized letter U. It's going to start here, end here, 
It's going to dip right about here. Go nice and light. There we go. And then we're going to give him more the letter C. So we start here. Let's see. And right about there. Now go ahead and close it off with a line or an upside down L, I should say, going here. There we go. And then we're going to give him a little bit of a rectangle, starting here, ending here. Just the inside of a sleeve for his coat. Now let's let his hand kind of rest on the inside of the coat lining right here. Bump, two, three, four going down. And there we go. And now we can erase that line and that line. Now let's go ahead and give Mr. Toad a few buttons. One, two. And then let's go ahead and give him a jacket, which will be just a line going down here, and another line from here to here. And if you want to go ahead and give him another arm, this one can rest behind his back where his hand just goes down like a curve and then back there. Now let's go ahead and give Mr. Toad some legs. Give him a W, starting here, ending here, which will be one, two, three, four. So he just has simple shoes. And what you're gonna just do is give him two curves right about here, one, another one here. Now go ahead and close those off. And you can even end it with a little rectangle, give him a little extra step for his soul, and then darken that in. And there you have it. One genuine, ready for a wild ride, Mr. Toon. Hey fellow YouTubers, if you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, just click on the button where you can donate and be a paying contributor, where you can see more things like read-alouds, drawing tutorials, virtual field trips, cartoons, and more. See more at Story J Storytime, and I'll see you next time.